Have you ever gotten stuck at the beginning of a research project? Maybe you have a topic in mind, maybe not. Either way, you're not sure where to start or even what words to use to start your research. You are not alone. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about finding search terms or keywords for your research topic. And by the end, you will have learned what search terms are and why they're important, how to find them while collecting background information, and how to keep track of them in a more organized fashion. For this tutorial, I'll call them search terms. You may be asking yourself, what are search terms anyways, and why do they matter? Search terms are the words you use to look for information in a database, including search engines like Google. They can really help shape your research and the information you find or don't find. Search terms are the most important or meaningful words in your research topic. You can see in the statement sample, I crossed out the secondary words to get to the main words I'll use to search. Now let's get down to business. When you start your research, you may have a broad topic in mind. For example, you may have an interest in learning more about native peoples and disease in colonial times. But maybe you weren't sure how you want to approach your topic yet. Let's begin there with what you already know. Maybe you've heard that when colonists came to the Americas way back when, they brought diseases that wiped out native peoples. Okay, that's a good way to get started. Your statement already contains a few words you can use as search terms. Write them down. Notice that I am separating the search terms out by different concepts because each term embodies a different meaning. Keep track of your search terms and begin to develop a chart of your topic. Now you need more information. Am I correct in assuming you go to Google to begin your search? That's a good place to start. Type your search terms into the search box and what do you get? Probably a lot of results. Most likely near the top of your search list there will be a very handy general article on your topic from Wikipedia. Wikipedia is collaboratively written by regular people like you and me and based on the concept of a traditional encyclopedia. If your instructor is like most instructors, you can't cite a Wikipedia article. It is not a scholarly source. But you can begin to learn more about your topic here. Another similar place to start that you can cite is your library's reference collection, especially the subject encyclopedias. For the purposes of this tutorial, I will use the Wikipedia article. So now you've arrived at your destination, some information about your topic. What do you do now? First, take time to read. Collecting background information is an important step in the research process, and it's also a time to collect useful search terms. Right off the bat, I can see Native American is another term for the term Native people, and Europeans for colonists. A couple of other words that stand out include epidemics and New World. With these new terms, you can continue to fill out your search terms chart. You may also consider adding terms of your own, like you might add United States into the location column and 1600s into a time column. Continue to add on to your list and keep track of which terms you use as the terminology will change in different databases and catalogs. So now you have a framework to think about developing search terms as you begin your research process. Start with what you know. Start with a tool that you know. Read and expand upon your search terms list. Keep track of the words you try and continue to harvest search terms from your reading. Now with your search terms list, you are ready to deepen your knowledge of your topic by using the library catalog or research databases to find other useful sources like books and articles. Don't forget to have fun throughout the process and give yourself enough time. And always remember, you can ask the librarian for help along the way.